Hello! And that was our first intro. Get ahead and give Chris a thanks for that, for making it for us. Yay! Clap, 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 clap. Claps for Chris. So how's everybody doing? I feel like we've been Pretty having good. a play for like almost two weeks, for me at least. Oh, wait, I mean, I think that's actually true. Yeah, I mean like. Yeah, been a while. I mean like last week, well. you know, not even here. So I don't think late really qualifies because you didn't even show up. So. It wasn't supposed to. Exactly. But then again, that doesn't count as constitute as late then, because it wasn't scheduled. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Bitch. As we move anyway. past Philip. <laughs> 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 How's everybody been? I'm doing good. I went to a my sister's birthday party Saturday. Awesome. I mean, not Saturday, Friday. Tell me you played the song. Uh, yeah, we played 16 going on 17, because my, yes! my sister turned 17. As requested by Adrian and Philip. I don't know. But then they're not 16 here. going on 17, then they're 17. Oh, yes. So that but, song's um, actively wrong. Like, you're using it incorrectly. I'm, I'm February. Damn it, I'm February. What's wrong with you? I'm what's February. A, what's I'm, I'm February. Term? On Friday. Oh, yeah. It's party pooper. Good job, LP. <laughs> I would prefer to be called pedantic, but sure. Whatever. Well, okay. Floats your boat, Bubberino. Active party pooper, party pooper, Alfie. I, I, it is true, I actively dislike parties. He actively of course poops on parties. Why am I not surprised? Like, uh, is this why you can never trust an terrible. Alfie? Just you can always trust pulls his pants down, takes a big old dump. What's it right all about? Fuck off. <laughs> I had my first week of 14 hour days. Oh! So much fun. Oh, yeah. How was that? Uh, I still hate it. Uh, Is that work or school? I hate it. What? Is that work or school? Uh,. Both. Kind of both. It's a vocational school, and I get out by getting hours and doing services. I remember when I had so to do that So basically, I'm hours. paying to work there. I had to work 12 hours a day with an hour commute. Kill while self. dressed in polyester. But I used to do security. It was not fun. Especially since I had to walk outside of the hospital for the majority of the time in the morning. Yeah, that's awful. Wow. It wasn't the best. That's actually around the time I met Chris, and yeah, I was not at a happy place. Glad I'm done with that. Yeah, because you met Chris. <laughs> it's true, because yeah. then I met Michael. That makes sense. Oh. Oh, oh boy. Well, he's, he's not even Shots here. fire. It's not even six o'clock yet, and there's so much shade. So... <laughs> <laughs> Well, just like Adrian, I also started school on Tuesday, uh, and yeah, I'm doing basic mathematics for my college level courses. I'm pretty sure you are. Got well happening and, on Monday. And let's not forget the fact she needs to use a calculator to do all that. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. Very uh, high I level mean, math. What is I, five I mean, minus I mean, four? An active quote. She sent us a oh, picture. Kelsey. That was a j- mm. mm. you know <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's just start the game, okay? Let's start you set yourself up for that one. You totally let's set yourself up. Let's start the game, alright guys? Let's start it up. Let's go. I wanna get Don't killed. Don't look at me, please. I want the team to die. I want the team to die, let's go. Oh, well, hold on, hold on. How about you, Chris? How's your time been? <laughs> you spent uh, your time in the couple of weeks doing something awesome for us, which again, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Uh, it's uh, it's been good. The few weeks off of school, quiet down a little bit. Start again Monday. Put off my calculus till next semester, so that's you know at least fun. I have a state exam coming up in the next week. Studying for that, pretty boring. A lot of 
pen and paper stuff list sounds like. Yeah, pretty much. Your life is boring. I'm sorry. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm stifling off crippling depression while working too many hours. A Lamau. Same though. High five. Same. Dream life style like achieved. Nice. I mean, you took a nice break of DMing last week, and that seemed to Actually, help your yes. mood. That break was, as I mentioned on Friday, very much needed. Mm. I was running my battery on empty, and with it now recharged, it added in a whole torrent of fun things that I came up with to throw in your guys' directions for you all to handle. So thank you, Yay! players, for allowing me to have my week off. Yay! No I mean, problem. Like, it's not like we can really say no. You're the DM. Yeah, it's not like somebody force you. <laughs> we can't really have a game like, without no, you. No, we not want really. To play a game. Unless I travel to another country, try to find where you live, <laughs> actively take you hostage, and force you to do something. Gun to your head. Gun to your head. To so fucking we DM wouldn't... a game, nerd. <laughs> So, Forcible DMing. Forced DMing. That'd be... <laughs> so, as we pick up where we last left off, who wants to do the recap? Oh, I already good. did that. Did I wasn't it? here. She did, but... Um, my he did, my ten reasons why everything is horrible and we're fucked? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, but now do it to <laughs> listening masses. Do it again. Go ahead. Go on. God. Do it. Do it, Do it again. Just... I'll yeah. see if I can remember them all. Okay. So, <laughs> we're all fucked. Ten reasons why. Uh, reason number one. <laughs> we're in the dark and everything is horrible. Uh, reason number two. I'm the one holding a baby. Reason number three. That baby could quite possibly strangle me. Uh, reason number four. Everything's terrible. Number five, everything is also terrible. Uh, I believe six was, <laughs> we don't know where the fuck we are. Uh, seven, we have two people, Ted Paul. We, we, <laughs> we left someone to be cannibalized. And our hunter could have done something about it. Hey, but I forgot. Mean... Reason number eight, <laughs> I, have, I have fingers up. Reason number eight, uh, we're surrounded by 20-foot-tall, two-headed monsters. Uh, reason number nine... Fuck, I don't remember. We have two reason. people as, oh, yeah. uh, so, used as so collateral. Oh, yeah, two party members are held hostage as collateral. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember what number ten was. Uh, you could say we're trying to find the tome and we have absolutely no fucking clue who it is. Basically, yeah. we're, we're number ten, we're fucked. Yeah, that's... Mm -hmm. A good one. We're 11. We're all dead. <laughs> Reason number 11, we're gonna die. Open scene. <laughs> so, as we jump into Empire of the Lost next week 15, I believe. 14. It's week 14. <laughs> the scene opens up with an arc of lightning black in color, striking onto a large cobble and like bone ground floor with sigils etched all around the stone. In it, there's eight points that seem to be erected from the ground itself. Spikes of bone sticking out, pointing everywhere in the circle of this cobble magic ring that the lightning hit. After the flash subsides, we watch as our six heroes stand there, a little disoriented, one of which holding on to a four foot tall infant child with two heads that at this point isn't crying, seems to be content, but for however long that lasts is unknown. 
and then outside the room as the scene opens up we see these large hulking 30 foot tall goliath of creatures moving on their own day to day path seemingly unknowingly noticing the group that just transported themselves via lightning as they move by in just careless like abandonment of the thing that's going on as the scene opens up to that I was gonna lean over to Akiyama so um what's the game plan here I'm holding a I don't have (laughs) okay okay I think we should just tiptoe across make sure they don't notice us get to a nice hallway and then we'll go from there. They're not going to reach us. Like they, that other one, aren't they? Let's hope not. That's going to start tiptoeing away. <laughs> um, I'm going to guess I have to roll a moose sure. silent now. <laughs> I want to oh, fucking boy. get out of here. So I'm going to start trying to tiptoe away from these guys. I want to get the fuck out of here. Bye. <laughs> fuck, that was not a good one. I'm not even going to roll move silent. Akiyama's going to scrabble away like a oh, rat. No! Back. Oh my god. Yes. I'd fucking grab you if I didn't have this kid in my arms. Well, too bad you got a kid in your arms. I don't. I do that. Please! Please! You don't, just, you don't just grab. You have to roll. Thank you. Like though. strength versus speed. I don't know. Uh, so like that, or escape artist, or anything along those lines. Oh uh, yeah, escape artist. It's effectively just a grapple check. Which you're not even. Chris, a, I'm please sure don't it let him make noise. Check. Stop him. So as you guys go to try to be unseen, wow. try to be silent, <laughs> Damn it. some of you scrambling to stop those from being more stupid. Oh. I actually uh, overpower you. Oh. As you That's start free, free. to move, He's like a, a rat. large like, bright purple light seems to go off in the distance as you see a pulse of energy just shoot from the like bottom of an area out in the distance and going upwards accompanied by a loud noise as you watch the group of giants that have been moving about start to move and head in the direction away from where you're initially at going deeper into this structure was a nice stroke of luck there okay so we've bought so that bought us some time um i could not possibly hate this place anymore well i mean at least they have like i don't don't know maybe that's that's like a dinner bell maybe that's i i don't know but anyway they're gone now is there any other exit outside of this room that's not towards that light investigating the room further as your eyes begin to grow accustomed to the strangeness of the scene. You look towards the walls as they seem to be made out of a material that's unknown to you but onyx in color. Outside of that you find yourself the room that you got transported in to be dome shaped with one entry where you saw the giants at. Going beyond that, you see a large hallway that expands upwards beyond where the dome visibly shows. From what's there, though, you can see that it goes off and curves to each side from an unknown location or distance. And then straight ahead, another doorway. Looking past the doorway, you see 
an expanse that almost seems unreal. Like a wide hole in the center of this structure that you believe the light came from there going upwards. Mm. Okay. And then in that expanse, in that doorway past that room, what looks like a pathway again circling off to the inner side of the room where the expanse is at. Okay, so there's like, so from what we can see from the exit, there's a hallway, couple branching off paths, but ultimately going towards that middle thing with there's the expanse, and that's where the whole light show went up, and that's where we see all those big two-headed giants walking towards. The hallway, you don't know where they lead. Okay. But you do know, if you head directly straight, you'll get to the large expanse in the center of the tower that also has pathways going either side of it but it's currently out of vision okay I look to uh, Raya so how's that baby doing uh, how, how the fuck how, how the fuck should I know I don't know I mean it's like it's not crying that's uh, what, like what what do you want from me okay well I just want to make sure it's not crying is it breathing yeah okay just make it sure all right, so um, I want to put it down. No, don't put it down. I, I don't want to carry it anymore. What? I don't. It seems to like you. I don't care. We don't need it now. We might need it later. It's a bargaining chip. I fucking hate this place. You guys are talking about a baby here. Yeah. Yeah. Like a living baby. As if it's a thing. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> it's around this time when Suijin comes to this realization trying to grab your humanities into the situation. A second horn begins to echo. No light accompanied with it, but with its noise, something that resonates deep within you that strikes fear to all your cores. Well, well, that uh, felt bad. Mm, yeah, let's... Should we where, just... Where are we going? I think I think we should tail behind them and then branch off when we can. Oh, like, keep, keep a good distance, but branch off when we can so they don't start coming back facing us. And we're in a good distance. The ozone begins to like become tangible. You can almost taste it and feel it as your hairs begin to start to stand on end. Hey. Does this sound like a magic shenanigan? (laughs) You start to pay attention and you see on the large bone octa twins each pillar at its very top begin to arc with electricity that goes down to its next point and then to the next while you guys still stand within this circular domed room yes this sounds like this could coincide with that the the pillars are doing something again Oh, we should probably get out of this part. We should probably get 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 out of this dome now <laughs> before something comes through. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna start making my way outside of this room. I want to leave. Do the everyone else follow? Oh, oh fuck yeah, I do. <laughs> oh god, yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Following after Asteron, you make your way to the hallway. Looking to the left and right, you don't see any bodies or sign of any person. Instead, you see these... This expanse that heads to the left and moves into a curve that you can visibly tell. And... Everywhere, approximately, at every, let's say, 40th foot, 
is this very large portrait that you can't tell what's on the portrait from where you guys are looking at. What you can see from how it's made, it seems to be some type of art. Is the expanse to our left where the giants went? They went in all directions. Okay. We need to start finding a way to get higher in this tower, as I'm sure this didn't take us to the very top, and I'm sure that's where the tome's gonna be. So, um... You're saying something, Rykor? Said so it seems logical. We should look for a way up. Yeah, but, um... Do we want to just search around? I guess we don't want to try and ambush anything in this place. We want to try and keep a low profile, am I correct? Yeah. Yeah, preferably. Don't fight anything. Somewhat. Okay, so... Huh, alright, let me... Uh, I only I, I only know so much about the spire. I basically I basically just, just know it exists. I've never actually heard of anything inside of it. Okay, alright. Um, hmm. So well, you guys there's... are standing like right outside the doorway. Yeah. You start to hear this coming from behind you. We should probably keep moving. <laughs> As there's a bright black flash of light that fizzles into existence. As the room is bathed with it, it becomes blinding for a moment before the sounds of thudding, flapping feet begin to echo against the cobble of a creature that is five times your guys' size and height. Right. Okay. Um, we should probably go, like, in one of these directions. Yes. In a mini money mo, yeah, catch a take of Pick somewhere and go. To your left. Look like back now, y'all. <laughs> this time. Yeah, so you know the directions available to you is straight left or right. Yep. Look at it to the left. left. Yeah, go to the left. Take yeah. a passing glance down at that. Quickly uh, and quietly as we can. Take as a passing glance move, down at that painting or whatever. Yeah, as you move to the left, you can see now the portrait is only visible as you're looking directly at it as if the way it was painted was to prelude it to be darkness until you make direct eye contact with it and as you do you see the large visage of an overly pompous giant two large heads one with a horn with the brilliant features of intelligence and finesse on his face the other the face of an Adonis-like male, gorgeous in its appearance, and its body seems to show that of the peak and pinnacle of a male's physique as it lays naked on a pile of corpses, drenching it or covering itself with what looks like a sea. So, so quick, so quick thing. So this painting is basically of what looks like a very handsome giant like not like one of these other types of giant, like an actual like quite good looking giants with two heads one having a horn that looks smart the other one looking handsome i should say yeah correct right okay interesting uh i don't know whether this is artist liberty i maybe he does actually look like this i actually know we, we we've already seen him so, yeah, this is probably just something. Anyway, we should, we should probably just keep moving. As you continue to retreat to the left, eventually, from curious glances behind, you watch as a familiar nemesis walks from the teleportation room. Spit, adorned as one of his new fetishes on his side as it jingles along with manacles that are quite literally two times your sizes his face at least one of them seems to be slouching in a sleeping position while the other erect and continued moving 
at his heel. You watch him start to drag what looks like some creature that is around 10 feet tall, two-headed, looks to be roughed up a bit. As it's dragging it, you watch your nemesis turn to it and say something again in their very harsh tone, not being able to pick up on what they're saying, but through body language, someone could try to do a sense motive. I'll sense that motive. I'll do it too, I just for the hell of it. I liked the two-headed ones. Jesus I mean, Christ, the lowest you can get is a 31. <laughs> what? I would have done it with well. no Between Akiyama and Ashton, what? the two of you are able to tell, at least from trying to humanize it, that it seems to be scolding the other smaller one. The ones that you, that are usually around us, they're like they're 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 usually a little bigger than ten feet, right? Does this look like an adolescent? You can assume that. Ah, okay. All right. Well, I guess maybe it's his dad. No, it's not his dad. I don't think these things have you know. I don't think they're parentage. particularly familial. No. No. All right. Let's just keep moving. I don't want to deal with that shit. <laughs> I'd rather not deal with anything here. Yeah. Wouldn't we all... Eventually, keep an eye out for anything. Keep heading down this path, walking along the almost stone-like onyx floors. You continue coming down the curve, passing by another doorway. Though mm. it seems shut and... Leagues too large for any of a, your size to easily push it open. And if it had a locking mechanism, absolutely no means to properly make yourself up to the handle to turn it. Hmm. Can anyone do a listen in to there? Just, 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 just for like a second? I can. To see what you hear? Yeah. I imagine the door might be a bit too fake. Do I have it on here? I do. But no harm in trying. Yeah, boy. So equally between Rikor and Raya, listening in on what you can like understand happening on the inside of this doorway, you hear the slight rattle of chains, but more familiar to the sound of chains like moving against a light breeze than intentional movement. Sounds empty. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess that I guess that I guess we hear that thing coming up behind us or has he gone through another passageway to the expanse? After the harsh guttural sounds it stopped, you heard movement again, but the path they took seemed to go straight. Okay, so we actually have a little bit of time before everything happens. Huh. You guys don't want to just peer in there, see what's in there, see if anything's is there useful? A, is there a crack big enough uh, between the bottom of the door and the floor? You feel like it could go in there, but if someone opens a door at the same time, you would become a red smudge on the ground. Can we at least peer in there? Through oh, that yeah. crack? You could. Okay. Have the smallest one do it. And I look to Feyana. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. I'll uh, try to peek under her or peek through the door. Do I need to roll something for that? Do you have anything in spot? Uh. My curiosity. Uh, I have two. Alright, sure, roll. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and spot. I'm not gonna get anything in it. I mean, better than it's, I expected. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good roll. Not bad. Decent. Looking yeah. into this room, yeah. <clears throat> there seems to be no light in here, but with what you can pierce through the darkness, you can tell that whatever this room is seems to be a stockpile of different lengths of chains and different sizes 
going to proper humanoid size to chains that you don't even know creatures large enough that you think could chain it or be large enough to fit those kind of chains there are a, a lot of chains in there and they go from uh, different sizes from humanoids to I don't even know what mm. well sound important to us so does it yeah kind of useless really. but at least we know that they like to chain big things so keep an eye out for that may not just be dealing with two-headed giants in this place I guess we should just move on yeah it's dead end this we need way. to keep moving so as you continue moving down this path eventually you come to a oddity <coughs> in your direction heading to the left and this, keep in mind, this corridor is always making this deliberate, soft turn, as if you're walking in a circle. But mm. as you're walking in this direction, you come across another oddity. It looks like a, la a lever that is approximately 20 feet off the ground, that currently is in the upward position. <laughs> Mm, big red button. Big red button. <laughs> Is that something? Uh, cool? I don't know if we should. Does anyone have any idea what this might do? I have no uh, idea. Let's do it anyways. No, don't. <laughs> no. What's well, the worst always... that could happen? It, it could, could like, sound off an alarm and everyone me. comes to this location. Yeah, that. It'd hmm. probably be a knowledge. Dungeoneering, wouldn't it? Yeah, I don't have yeah. that. <laughs> I mean, because I decided to put points in everything, I have a one in it. <laughs> so you can try. I can try, I don't think I'll get anything in it. Uh, <laughs> fuck you, you do, do it. it. Yeah. Do it, it anyway. Right. Probably it could be helpful. I want to know just how bad that roll is going to be. <laughs> I mean, might as well. This it's a little baby is... roll. <laughs> this is beyond what you know about dungeons. I don't know shit about dungeons. <laughs> <laughs> I love that just... Wait, wait, wait. Let me think about this. Let me think. I, have I don't know shit about dungeons. I don't know shit about dungeons. But I don't have, like, a button for it. <laughs> <laughs> then you go into your character sheet and you would have to find it in your actual or ability sec um, section. Yeah, I'll be on the right hand side there. And then you press the button that looks like a dice on your on the character sheet itself. Yep. Yes. Yes. Thank you. <clears throat> it's better. Wait, no, that's not its nature. Crap. <laughs> yeah, dude. Non dungeoneering. There it is. Sorry. Oh. So from the way that it seems to be structured and how there is really nothing in immediate like vicinity of the lever itself, you just deduce <clears throat> three possibilities. One, it could be some method of like transportation. Two it could be a disarming mechanism for traps or three it could be an alarm of some sort that they would manually pull to garter attention to this area all right guys it's either an elevator or it's a disarming traps those are the only two possibilities an elo what a what you know Wait, was, oh yeah, elevator something exists. It's a um, <laughs> transportation. <laughs> um, and there's a, and there's like a one percent chance it could set off an alarm or something. But don't worry, yeah. it's not that. All right. Well, trust me. I don't want to take that. Chance. I don't. Why does anyone he does anyone hear where the uh, giants are at this point? Okay, okay, guys. EK commotion. I can have a listen. What are our other options? Go to the left. Continue down mindlessly until we hopefully find that something. Great. Oh yeah, that's 
Sounds like a great idea. Do I hear anything at all? Boop, 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 boop. Just ignore the lever yes, uh... and just keep working. <laughs> well, I actually have a few thoughts. Oh. Mm -hmm. Concerning yes. is, uh, what is our exit strategy? Run away our quickly. Run <laughs> where? I mean, retrace our steps? Like, that's really all I really know at this point. There's apparently a way to get out the same way we got in. I would think. <laughs> Given the... I yeah. I didn't get a chance to check the pillars, whether they go the same way, if they go back and forth, but I have to think that they do. We saw one come out. Okay, which means we'll have to hold on to this one. Yes. We're in. Yeah. Very much so. <laughs> Secondly, we are on a very tight time frame with an yep. entire large building here. Um, we may have to take a chance that this is some sort of upward mobility device. And thirdly, if this is an alarm, perhaps it works in our favor. If they're all drawn to here, when we pull the alarm, maybe we can book it to somewhere else. I like mm. this guy. Hopefully, when they don't see someone here, they'll just blame it on one of their own and just start a huge commotion and fight instead of them thinking, oh, there's an intruder. But can't they, like, teleport? Couldn't they just, like, teleport here? No, they can only teleport with the pillars, I think. I believe, I believe that, that, that was the only thing they could do. Only transport to and from the tower. Where exactly would we hide from them? We just I mean... Quickly. Okay, so... So there are two anomalies where, where we are right now. A uh, path going to the left, and this lever. Other than that, the path continues on in that curve. Going straight, kind of, sort of. You feel like you're going in a circle. Just, just, just pull it. Just right. pull it. Okay, and if and how? Then we how the fuck are we gonna pull it? Oh yeah, uh, Oops, Raya. Off, I... Actually, Throw no. Rope around Raya. it and pull. Either uh, you or Rykor or both could pull it. It's twenty feet up, so uh, I, I do think... have an insane jump. Mm, but <laughs> I don't. I, I do have like a 36 jump. Can I do a sense motive on the baby to see where Wait, the baby's where still it's here? At? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Sense, it's sense a baby. baby. Can I do a sense motive on the baby? The highest I can get with that is a 31. Holy shit. It seems to be asleep. What the fuck? It seems to be asleep. Okay, it's asleep right now. <laughs> Your Maybe maximum if we just... is my minimum. <laughs> okay, so if we just, you know, keep it nice and quiet, it should be okay if Raya gives it to someone. Why are we still holding the baby? I just want to get out. out. Yeah, yeah, it's the only way we're going to be able to get out. You don't yeah, know this, Robert, but the way, but, but what we've, oh, yeah, what, yeah, yeah, sorry. What, what we've gathered is that with we, we can only get to and out of the shower using the teleportation pillars with the uh, giants, uh, something of giant blood. Giants. Yeah, I got DNA yeah. or something like that. So, uh, yeah. Alright, so, well, who the fuck wants to hold it? Um, so Sujin so puts his um, okay. finger on his nose. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna give it to oh, Akiyama. I, <laughs> I put no. my finger on oh. my nose. <laughs> Understand oh, where, where this is going. <laughs> No goes, I get it. <laughs> it's gotta be the tallest one of you. I'm not I'll hold thing. it while you pull the lever. No, but it's it's twenty feet up, that's the thing. I have to get on your shoulders to even Yeah. I thought you were gonna throw over. Yeah. So it's gonna have to be one of us to not really hold it but just keep, like keep it on the ground and make sure it doesn't, you know, smack its head and start crying. That's essentially what we need to do. Would it be so wise I guess to try and tie some cloth around its mouth? No. It's gagging a baby. I, big. I don't think I have any. I'm sorry, what? I'm pretty <laughs> sure that would freak it the fuck out. Is it not it enough that we're holding a baby hostage and now we're going to torture it? 
I didn't say Bagging torture. Bagging is not torture. We're not okay. gonna try and torture. Uh, okay, we need to make a decision. Just give the baby okay. to Akiyama. Okay, are you doing, a doing the rope, or am I jumping for it? I think... I think rope I think sense is the best. Well, you're really okay. good at jumping. He's got so rope. One is good. I did not have rope. Do we, when does it work the do other we will? still have the rope from the whole, like, hole incident? We have yeah. that. Or did we lose that? I have some rope. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so... Just give it to someone. The baby. said rope. Yeah, it is. I've been giving it against my will. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> How does that look at a four-foot baby on top of Akiyama? Well, no, it's while the baby's on the floor, and Akiyama's just kind of standing next to it, just like, yep. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Alright, I guess we're gonna try and, you know, fling the rope over and pull it down, I guess. Is that is, is, is that yeah. what you're doing, Raya? Is that a used rope? Because it's so... Attempt. Yeah, it's a used rope. You, you should, should use let Raya do it. Box, so. You should. Yeah, if I remember correctly, she. I None of us had very good use rope. No one ever I remember had that, uh... use rope. Fuck me. <laughs> no, you have a good use rope, don't you? Ah! <laughs> what? <laughs> you roll with that. You you only had to roll a four for a thirty-three. Holy shit! So. What? You put so much in use. As you tie the rope to exquisite degree, it gives you about ten feet worth of um, length. Oh. Not enough. So here's what we can do. I can boost you up. You can then throw the rope over the lever. Once you have both ends of the rope, you can jump from me to the ground. <clears throat> good idea. Good and idea. If it's an arm, good idea. We can make a quick getaway. <laughs> Yeah. Just, just okay. Do yeah. Do that. As you guys are coming up with this plan and whatnot, the heavy sounds of unshoed fat feet begin oh, no. to echo coming from the left hand side. We gotta hurry the fuck up. We gotta hurry the fuck up. Okay, so left hand side. We don't go to the left. Good to know. <laughs> Uh, do I do I have Toast to bitch. use rope again to throw it? It would be a strength check, or actually, it would be um, side hand. Wow. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I don't have that. I looked at Feyana. <laughs> I mean, I now no, do yeah, have hey, a no, good side I'm hand. Gonna, I'm gonna grab Feyana and I'm gonna have her throw it and then I'm gonna put it down. Put her down. And then, <laughs> yeah, that'll work. It'll work. <laughs> yeah, you just pick uh, up Feyana. I... Oh, God. Sure. It'll be fine. Oh, my sure. God. Ah, okay. Throw it. All right. <laughs> uh, I'm scared. I didn't like it. <laughs> just do it. I'm scared. Uh, just, just do it. Hold on. Let him go. Find it. Yeah. <laughs> Is that good enough? As you watch the her... rope begin to yes. flip around her head before letting it loose as it arcs upwards and then barely lands on the nape of the head of the lever. Oh god, I don't know that's enough. And as <laughs> Feyana holds onto it, she shimmies it a couple of times, snaking it and whipping it as it like resists for a couple of seconds as the sounds of... Against the echo before, like with final determination, she scowls at the rope and then flings it with a small curse as it secures itself right underneath the head of the lever. Pull? <laughs> so Here. I'm just all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna put Faye on, on my back, say grab put your arms around my throat. Basically, and I'm gonna grab the earth and I'm gonna jump. What? <laughs> okay. Fuck me. Okay, I'm gonna grab on the Raya. <laughs> Andrew, <laughs> do, Hold a, on. do a strength roll plus your con plus Feyana's con. Whoa. Uh, okay, Whoa. what's my con? Okay. My con is. Uh. 
plus it is fuck six. Minus you really 16. are a teeny tiny baby. <laughs> what? Six. What'd you say, Alfie? You really are a teeny tiny baby. Kind of really six. <laughs> okay, so this the. That's, oh god. That, that's the strength roll. Man, and tough. my con is also 16. You know you could have just did plus. Oh, I did it with the, I did it with the dice roller. Sorry. Ah. So forty-seven total, I think. Something, yeah, something huge. <sighs> Big. Ow. With your combined weight and you putting your strength into it as you drop down, your flaming mohawk just like flickers upwards with the momentum. You hear <laughs> as the lever drops down in place. What did you do? After a couple of seconds, nothing happens as you're holding the lever down, though you feel it giving resistance as you're doing it, as if it's trying to flip back up into place. So you're using all your strength trying to keep this heavy mechanism down. It's not. I, it won't. It won't stay down. Um, uh, um, hold it down. Do I notice good. any? That, yeah. Good. Do I, that, try to notice things. Like, do I notice anything? Like, yeah, out of my eye, eye? or do I have to make an actual spot check for that? <laughs> As you look around, Akiyama, you don't see anything particularly happening for the first couple of seconds before you notice. There's a small indention of cobble that looks like it's trying to turn and descend into the ground. <gasps> but when I say small, this is around 40 feet wide in diameter. But <laughs> it's comparatively <laughs> small. Yeah. It doesn't seem to be moving down. It's just it... like a couple of inches. Well, in its comparison, it's like half a foot down. Does the lever look like it can go down any more, and in that it's just giving resistance because they're not heavy enough? Looking at it, no. It seems to be flush to as far as it can go. I don't see any other lever around. No. Okay, I, I go over to the to the cobble thing and start. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Out, no sorry. one else knows it's there because no one did the yeah. spot check. God damn it, Michael. Am I still on Raya's shoulders, or have I jumped out at this point? I really haven't oh, said, have I? You need to hurry up. They're coming. <laughs> so, uh, Akiyama points it out. You lost Robert. I'm oh, down. Probably gonna scurry over there. There he is. All right. Well, then I Sorry. follow in after Akiyama <laughs> saying, Okay, what, what what do we do with this? <laughs> Michael. I can't hold this forever. Just go in there now. Okay. Go in there? I thought it was just like an indentation. I'm gonna try and push on the thing. Does it look like it gives way, or is it just? Huh, no. Have have Rikor do it. If you're trying to push something, have him do it. Rikor? <laughs> Rikor, push it. Just okay. Full Rikor. rush it <laughs> with your shoulder. Pushing something. Standing. As you go to the indentation in the ground and try to push down on it, no, it doesn't I'll... move at all. I'll jump on it. Nothing. <laughs> Maybe what it doesn't it? do something until it's released. Maybe. Can I roll another uh, knowledge engineering to see what the fuck just happened? Oh you can, God. yes. We're the do worst. <laughs> we are the fucking worst. Luckily, you feel <laughs> your prior two assumptions were wrong, and this obviously seems to be some kind of lift. Most likely. There either has to be a pattern to do it, or it might mean a release and wait for the mechanism to work. You're not too sure. Uh, Riker, you see like a pattern or anything that make something make how, sense? How? <sighs> I cannot hold this forever. It seems to be very flush with its design. It's 
just the lever and the wall. Just don't release it. Listen. Maybe it works on release. Yeah, I say we just release it. Everybody... I don't know. That's what I would think. Then yeah, just let it go, Ryan. And everyone who isn't currently holding it down, come over here and stand. Okay, I do that. I walk. It's not really much. Am I, I gonna have over. to let go and then run to you guys? Yes, oh. essentially. Fuck oh, so me, Danny. You better hold on. Fast, right? <laughs> All right. Better fucking I hold, hold on, on to uh, to Raya. <laughs> Good enough to grab the bait too. Oh yeah, let's not forget. <laughs> yeah, Akiyama, you have the baby. <laughs> no, I, I don't. It was on the floor. I don't have it. Oh my what? god, I'll pick it up and bring it over. Because <laughs> uh, I, I, I can't carry that fucking thing. <laughs> Did you say that out loud? No, I can't no. Doesn't swear. I'm talking to Rancor. So, uh -oh. as everybody Tell moves to the center of the indentation, you hear the sounds of the footprints, or footstops, moving closer. Followed by a... <laughs> As accompanying with the sound, you see the silhouette of a large hulking creature, about four times larger than in girth than Spitz Murderer. In silhouette alone, in shadow, start to make its way around the bend of the corner. Oh, it's larger. That's great. Come on, okay. you want to make it sound Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. So we got the baby. Are you ready? Thing. Gotta hope good? it works. Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully. We're ready? Let's go, run. Yep. Yes. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna let go, and I'm fucking booking it to where they are. <laughs> As it happens, everyone on the circle, I need you to make a balance check. Right oh, you have a baby that I think I gave its weight to 20 before? That's, That's one. one. That's a one. Do Ryan uh, and I have to? Two. So, That's it two. would okay. be a 20 con- or, what's your constitution plus all your equipment weight plus the baby? Uh, uh, okay. Oh Let me god. That's a lot. Everyone is sucking dick. Just lay the baby down again. Fuck the baby. <laughs> Kelsey, you're in a math class. Do the math for him. <laughs> no. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> it deserves death. Death! Kill it. Um, yeah, I think I'm just in the negatives with the 20 weight baby. No! Alright, so baby. it would be your con penalty to your balance. Con penalty to balance? I have points in con penalty. Yes, that's why I said con penalty, because it could outweigh your minuses if you put points in it. I did. Three of them. What does that outweigh your minus? Uh, just so 28 con, 28 baby, 8 left over, 5 weight, sword, plus. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> Best God name. damn it. It's pretty solid. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, no, I'm still negative. So that would be a minus to your balance for the negative. And it's like minus four. So Alright, so if anyone didn't make the roll of ten, yes, the immediate yes. shudder knocks you to the ground prone. On the on the thing. Okay. <laughs> you just feel this very Everyone heavy <laughs> as you drop to your feet and fall <sighs> to the ground. Rikor, the baby spill it spilling on the floor a couple of times. Its oh, no. one head begins to rouse up in protest to its mm -mm. sudden mm -mm. shock oh, and no. pain. As Raya, you run and watch as the group slowly begins to descend about a foot a second down this spinning 30-foot-wide diameter hole. That's fine. I'm fucking jumping for it. 
Book it, boys. Uh -oh. As you jump down and hit with the roll. Feyan, are you taking that spill, too? And around the time you guys hit down... Sorry! <laughs> no, no, no! I'm grabbing the baby! I don't know what else to do. Followed by a very confused-sounding... <laughs> it's the Tim Allen of Two-Headed Giants. <laughs> <laughs> Just Meme too hard. As you guys continue to descend into the darkness, looking upwards, as you wait for a moment to see the visage of the creature come into sight, looking down at you in your descending no. form, though <clears throat> it never seems to come. And with that darkness lapping at your like perception everything on the sides of you just fading into nothingness as you dig deeper into the <laughs> onyx stone as no light seems to pierce down here we're gonna take a break how about for Yay. okay <laughs> hooray for going <laughs> down instead of up oh yeah i know so right so, thank how you guys is, uh... for watching we're gonna go ahead and take a 10 to 15 minute break and then we'll be back around that time so yeah peace Hooray for I'm me so upping scared. my flight of